Hey everyone, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our in-depth video review of the HTC Titan. It's available right now through AT&T for a two-year contract price of $199.99. And it's probably the most compelling of the latest uh, Windows Phone Mango devices out there just for the fact that it features a massive 4.7-inch WVGA Super LCD panel. Design-wise, the HTC Titan bears in common a lot of design characteristics that we find in use by many of HTC's products, and overall, it's one solid feeling handset. Thanks to its choice of materials, it has a metallic exterior, which gives it a clean look overall, and at the same time, it gives it a lot of strength, but it does add some weight, a lot of weight to it, actually. Large, too, just because of the size of the display, but overall, definitely a top-notch quality smartphone. Of course, there are going to be some people out there that will really enjoy the fact that the Titan packs one of the largest displays on the market on any smartphone. It's a 4.7 inch WVJ Super LCD panel, so that's 40 by 800 pixels. As you can tell here with the main menu, the font size is very legible, but if you get into things like the web browser and you view something in a zoomed out view, you could tell with fine text, pretty garbled looking, so you got to really zoom in to make it out. But still, it's what you get with Windows, phones, Windows Phone in general. With the Super LCD panel, it produces some distinctive color tones, very deep, and gives it a lot of eye candy. Handy. And when combining its wide viewing angles, it maintains its clarity even in outdoor settings. Since they're spaced far away from one another, we didn't have any issues accidentally pressing any of the capacitive Windows buttons. Above the display, you have the narrow looking earpiece and also the 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, which you can use with the Tango application for video chatting and allows it to work over Wi Fi and cellular connectivity. On the right side of the phone, we have the volume rocker and also the dedicated shutter key. They're prominent and they have a decent tactile response. Well, on the left edge, the only thing we have here is the micro USB port for data and charging connectivity. Up top, we have the 3.5mm headset jack, the noise cancellation microphone, and dedicated power button, which is rather flat, so it makes it very difficult to feel out with our thumb. Much like a lot of HTC's recent smartphones, the HTC Titan packs a respectable camera in the rear. It has an 8 megapixel autofocus camera, dual LED flash, you have the speakerphone notches right there. It's a wide angle f2.2 lens, so it's supposed to get better shots at even low lighting conditions. Removing the back cover, you guys simply take it off like that, you gain access to its battery, and also the SIM card slot. Just like all the other Windows Phone Mango devices we've checked out recently, like the HTC Radar and even the Samsung Focus Flash, there isn't really a whole lot new with the uh, HTC Titan's experience. Of course, it features the HTC Hub, which gives you some of the classic things that we find with their Sense UI, such as the, uh, the uh, clock here. You have some stocks information, the news, and some featured applications. But on the surface, Windows Phone, uh, Windows Phone has the same uh, you know things that we love about it, the dynamic live tiles, which aggregate content, whether it be notifications. And on top of that, it has better integration with, uh, with Twitter, and of course you have some multitasking elements. Under the hood, the uh, HTC Titan features the third generation Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. In fact, it's the single core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm MSM8255 processor. It's coupled with only 512 megabytes of RAM, which some might feel to be on the slow side, but it's more than enough to power Windows Phone Mango. Just because with the Titan here, you could tell it's very responsive to the touch. It's pretty instantaneous in opening up applications, and overall, it exhibits a very responsive rate. We've always been fond with the Windows Phone keyboard just because it's very responsive and its autocorrect feature is one of the better ones out there as well. But what makes the HTC Titan so gratifying is that this layout is spaced out even more so it offers plenty of room for our fingers both in landscape and in portrait. And all in all, the Titan's probably the best Windows Phone device for typing up messages on. Providing us HSP plus speed, it's very good in loading up complex web pages like ours. And of course, the web browsing experience is phenomenal, even though it lacks flash support, just because everything moves at a responsive rate. Both kinetic scrolling and pinch zooming is uh, executed wonderfully. And all in all, definitely a great experience. Once again, we're greeted with the Zoom uh, experience with the Titan, just like any other Windows Phone device. As far as the audio quality of the speaker, it produces some average volume tone. It's not the strongest out there, and it doesn't crackle the loudest volume setting. Thanks to its ginormous display, the Titan is definitely a handset you want to use for watching videos. The one we have here is encoded in DivX, 1920 by 1080 resolution, so it's 1080p, moving at a great frame rate, no slowdown or lag, and top of that with a super LCD panel, uh, colors are very distinctive, which gives it a lot of eye candy. 
Much like a lot of HTC's recent smartphones, the Titan comes packing a respectable camera in the rear. It's an 8 megapixel autofocus camera that features dual LED flash, a wide angle f2.2 lens, and backside illumination. All in all, the photos that it produces are rather average to tell you the truth. The biggest distraction that we have is just the faint details that we find with images as a whole. Uh, it has also this purplish color reproduction with shots taking indoors and outdoors. Under low lighting, it does crank up the exposure to obtain a little bit more more details and visibility, but at the same time, it tends to make the images look rather grainy. We really desperately want to like the handset 720p video recording, but unfortunately, it's not that great at all. Tell you the truth, the biggest distraction that we have with this one is that details are very muddy looking. It's almost out the door, it's non-existent. It does shoot it at a frame rate of 30 frames per second, so it's very smooth and we like the clear audio recording and also the gradual exposure, but just the lack of details is the biggest thing that we notice that stands out. Through the earpiece, we can make out a slight buzzing sound, which is very prominent when no one's speaking. And voices are hollow in tone on both ends of the line, which can make it a little bit difficult to make out conversations. As far as the speakerphone quality, it's good, and strong output enables us to hear our callers very easily. As far as signal strength is concerned, it's pretty good with the handset. In high coverage areas, it's able to put up roughly 4-5 to five bars, and our time using it, we didn't experience any drop phone calls. For a handset that's packing a large display and a 1600 milliamp hour battery, we're very content with the battery life with it. We're able to get 6.5 hours of continuous talk time in a single charge, which is close to the 6.8 hours rated by the manufacturer. Also, we're able to get at least a solid days of normal usage, but still, it's something you want to charge nightly. So there's no denying it, if you're in the market for a Windows Phone Mango device, you really want to take a look at the HTC Titan. It definitely stands out for its massive 4.7 inch display, very beautiful thing to look at. It's also complemented with its uh, quality build, definitely durable, one of the best, better looking industrial designs in the Windows Phone camp out there. It does take some nice looking photos, but its 720p videos is rather lackluster. And overall, for $200, it's definitely a respectable handset on its own. So if you'd like to learn more about about the HTC Titan, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone.